This pivot video is going to be a quick overview of the components within the panels and also where to get more information. So the most crucial um, piece to know is that this QR code will take you to a web page that has the instructions, tech data sheets, sales sheets, schematics, video links, and other information. So let's look at the components on the Pivot Pro. Obviously you have an enclosure, the globe. This is a silence and reset button. So if you push it down once, it's a silence. And if you push and hold it down, you're gonna clear out any alarms that, uh, that are still stored. That's important to know for a first timer walking up to the panel, not knowing what to do and, and maybe it's in alarm. There's a horn right here. You have inside the panel, you've got your ground lugs down here, contactors. This is a duplex, so you have two contactors and two overloads. You have overloads because this is a three-phase panel. And since it's a three-phase panel, you also have a transformer. The transformer is gonna provide your single phase 120 volt power for your control and alarm circuits, which are contained within the circuit boards here. On a single phase panel, you would not have a transformer here and you wouldn't have overloads here, you would have circuit breakers instead. Now down here you've got, this is your, what we would call your landing uh, terminal board. So you're gonna land all your float switches and power and things like that. If you had thermals, if you had seal fails, those would all land on this board. You have, back in there, you have the main logic board, and then behind this interface, you have what we would call the display board. On the interface itself, you have two fuses down here at the bottom, the Z-Control LED. These white rectangles are your HOAs, and these are smart HOAs, and we explain what that means in another video. So your pump one, as you press the button, you would toggle between auto, off, and hand. Same thing on the pump two HOA. There's a pump run LED in each of those boxes. There's also adjuster screws for the seal fails. And then you have LEDs for the float switches. You've got stop, lead, lag, high, a system ready LED, and then up here, there's an LCD screen. To navigate through the menu, you would use the up, down, back, and enter buttons. One of the things that's important to remember is that the Pivot and Pivot Pro use logic that is different um, and more advanced than panels that most contractors and service techs are gonna have seen. Therefore, having the, the information at the tip of your fingers to, to have those resources available, it's pretty important because there may be behaviors that are happening that are normal and are telling you something, but don't seem like anything you've seen before. So, so that's one of the reasons why going to this page and uh, for those resources is important. So that's a brief overview of Pivot Pro. It's very similar on Pivot. You just don't have a screen here. The logic board back there is smaller and it doesn't have a, a place to plug in a, a gateway for Z-Control. And there's not as many features on the, on the terminal strip here. But other than that, they're very similar. Pivots are usually in a smaller enclosure than Pivot Pro. But the, the most important thing to know is you can easily get to any information, including an alarm table that shows you the, the, how to resolve alarms or what they mean, that's all available right there at that QR code.